as you were growing up, who were some rappers who inspired you? I say Bankroll Fresh. Bankroll Fresh was a nigga that I was like, I adapted to the shit he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Just getting money. Cause I feel like as, as, as a young nigga, I was doing a lot of shit. All the people wasn't gonna do to get money. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of shit niggas wasn't doing to get money. So I was just relating to Bankroll, one of them niggas I feel like I listened to that really, he, he the only nigga I feel like made me want to do music for real. He made you want to uh, do music and, and make you want to get a lot of money. Yeah. Made me want to be the richest nigga out of my neighborhood. <laughs> okay. I uh, Recently I interviewed Tay Capone and he was telling me how he seen Chief Keef get rich. And yeah, that, was, that was some shit we seen too. You know what I'm saying? That was some shit that we looked at too that was like, damn. He, what was what, Chief Keef was like 16? I think 15. so, like, yeah, 15, 16 or some shit. Yeah, you seen that shit too. I was probably like, I don't know, I was probably like 11, 12. I probably, I was probably like 10, for real. I was, I was young. Okay, when you started having money? That, when I was like that age, I probably was doing shit like at my grandma's house or something, asking for money at my grandma's house, oh, okay. doing some little work or some shit. Have you bought anything like ridiculous since you started getting money through this rap shit? Shit, no, nah, not really. I ain't really bought nothing ridiculous. I ain't really into that shit. I spend a lot of money, but I ain't really into buying this crazy shit. You know? You buy a lot of weed or? I spend a lot of money on weed. How much would you say you spend on weed? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, a lot. A lot. That's why I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta have a lot of weed to smoke on, cause I don't, I don't like niggas, I don't like making niggas rich, so I gotta have my own weed to smoke on, on decent prices and all that, you know what I'm saying? I hear that. I like your, I like your piece, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's, uh, who'd you say that was from the Rugrats? Uh, Chucky. Chucky from the Rugrats. Yeah, it's okay. by Johnny Dane. Johnny Dane made that for you? Yeah. Okay. How much did you, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for it? I spent 20 on, 25 on this and 20 on my Cuban. That's nice. You got the teeth too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got permanents. I've been having these for a minute though. It's about that time to go crazy again. Those were the first ones you bought? The first big purchase you bought? That, I, had a, I had a pullout grill at first. Oh, okay. So that was the first. That was the first. Yeah, that was, I'd say, like, that was the first, like, big bundle of money I spent. Was on a grill? What, um, what made you want to get a grill? What, you got a grill before a chain? Yeah, I had a grill before I had a chain. What made you want to do that? Most people want to get the chain. I just wanted a grill. I don't know what made me want a grill, for real. I just wanted a grill. Like, I just wanted my teeth to be iced out. I don't know. I wanted my teeth to be like stuff first. Because so I knew the chain was going to come. You know, eventually you're going to get the chain. Have you ever turned down a lot of money for a feature? Mm, not really. No? Yeah, because I feel like I ain't never really just, I never really charged that much for a feature for real. Like I have, but I never really, I don't be charging that much for no feature because I barely do them. You know, so most of the time I show love to somebody, you know. I don't really, but I have I have turned down a lot of money from a feature from my partner before. One of my partners tried to pay me some money, and I was like, Nah, I can't do that. I can't take no money from you for a song. <laughs> Shit ain't nothing. I think I seen you mention in the interview that the police had told you that they like they get shit from the internet. Yeah, so it was a little situation that I had that occurred in the city. And they had, we had to do a, you know, it was like a meeting, you know? And they was just pretty much giving me a warning, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a damn near a fair warning for it. Like it fucked me up. Like it made me realize like, damn, I gotta chill out. Posting guns, doing that, doing that, you know what I'm saying? Cause when you catch cases and all that shit, all that shit just add up and they just look at you crazy. Then on top of that, you got music out, you talking crazy, you got guns on you. You know, so it was a situation that I had and they told me they 
they learn shit from the internet. They know this and this from the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of them just doing a little wake up calls real quick, you know? It was one of them things, but I told them folks, I don't fuck with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I told them straight up. They come, anybody come fuck with me, gonna get what they, get what they, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even, it was the gang unit. It was a gang unit in Texas, in our city, in our little area. It was a gang unit, you know what I'm saying? And there was a little dude, he was with some type of fucking program, you know? And my mom just wanted me, you know, cause she, 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 like, don't get it wrong. Anybody know my mom, they know she know, she with all the fuck shit. But far as me going to jail and doing this shit over some bullshit people, she wasn't with all that, you know what I'm saying? So like two weeks of them, she telling me, oh, she got somebody to go in a little program and do a little program in Fort Worth or something. I'm like, I don't really want to talk to them. I don't got nothing to say. But they was pretty much just saying, well, I mean, you keep going on this road, it's easy to build this type of case, it's easy to build this type of case, and they don't even got to be off you. If I put a diss song out about you, and I say, oh, fuck you, woot you, I shot, I shot at you, you tried to shoot at me, woot you, in the song, I just gave the police information that they would have never knew mm. until I said it in the song. So when people do shit like that, it bring attention to you, you know what I'm saying? So that shit brought the wrong attention to me, so I had to leave that shit alone, man. I had to leave that shit alone, you know what I'm saying? They asked me about some shit I ain't had nothing to do it with. I ain't had nothing to do with shit. I told them I don't, I don't know what, I don't got nothing to do with shit. If y'all want to do, cause, cause the, the shit that occurred, it was my peoples. They know that it was kind of like we been cool before. So they kind of wanted to keep it before they start doing some bullshit. They wanted to keep it. Okay, we know y'all know this side. We know this side used to fuck with this side. We gonna try to keep it like this. But it was like one of those situations where I felt like I ain't start, you know what I'm saying? I ain't start nothing. So if that's the way to the end, that's the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? So. I ain't really care too much, you know, but it just made me realize I can't play with niggas on the internet and do all that and go to jail and Rico case and organize crime and gang cases and just bullshit that niggas is trying to make up in their music. You know what I'm saying? So I have to leave that shit alone for real. So you're not no more guns in the videos for you? Or if you do, they're going to be props? Definitely prop guns, you know? That's all you use anyway, Definitely right? prop guns, but it's, it's like... Niggas, niggas drop snitch in their music. Niggas will drop tail on you in their music for no reason. I don't make diss songs. I don't do none of that. I don't mention dudes' name and so on. I don't put niggas on YouTube. I don't do none of that. Because mm. that's police work. Because the police told me. That's basically how they get their information. So if they get their information, that's police work. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta learn how, you got to learn how to move around that shit. I don't even get on live or none of that like that. I barely get on live. You know what I'm saying? I try not to get on live, but they record everything now. I record everything now. You know what I'm saying? The police? You think, oh, you... No, oh, so I'm just you... saying, people do. Oh, and it's right. there for the police to see. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you oh, okay, you say record your live and then upload it to, like, YouTube or Instagram or whatever. You know, so I don't, I don't play on the internet. I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that, bro. These niggas be snitching for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the internet's the internet's wild, man. It can it's a lot of you know, it's just dope. The internet's dope, but there's also like a lot it's like kind of a responsibility too. Cause it, it's just everybody can see you put whatever you put out there. Yeah, know? I mean shit. You know, that's why I don't fuck around. You know, cause them folks had motherfuckers knocking at my mama door, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't need this for my T Jones. I'm like, let me leave these little rappers alone and let them rap about whatever they want to rap about. Whatever gangster stuff they gonna they supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear that.